Shalom and welcome to The Bible Comes to Life. Join us as we explore the stories of the Bible and experience them where they actually happen in the land of Israel. I'm Omer Eshel, Director of the Israel Government Tourist Office, Midwest Region, and your host. Today, we will talk about Yardenit, the place of baptism. Let's talk about how the ritual of baptism came to be. In Judaism, one of the most important mitzvahs or commandments is to baptize oneself, to clean oneself. This commandment comes out of the realities of Israel's very hot climate and the need to stay clean in order to guard against disease. In the Second Temple period, there was a community of Jews called the Essenes who lived in the Negev and Judean desert, primarily at a place called Qumran. The Essenes practiced an ascetic lifestyle, which included an emphasis on the commandment of cleansing. There were over 13 mikvehs or ritual baths found in Qumran, in an area which sees less than two inches of rain per year. In the first century AD, John the Baptist tried to join the Essene community at Qumran. Although it, it is believed that he only stayed with the community a short time, he was so moved and inspired by this commandment of cleansing that when he left Qumran, he shared it with everyone he met. As we read in Mark 1 verse 4, John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And we continue in verse 9. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. If we look today at the place of Jesus' baptism called Yardenit, we see it is situated right at the southern tip of the Sea of Galilee, at the place where the Jordan River flows out of the Galilee on its way to the Dead Sea. It makes a lot of sense that Jesus, when he was coming down from Galilee, would stop in this place to be baptized by John. The topography of the land dictates that the main road that Jesus took to get to Jerusalem, the Via Rex, or the Road of the Kings, went through the Jordan Valley, and the site of Yardanit lies right off this road. If we turn to Luke 3, verse 21, we read, When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus was also baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was opened. Today, when you go to Yardanit, you will put on a white baptismal gown and slowly descend the steps into the water. The same water that baptized Jesus, you will be baptized. You will feel your sins being washed away. You will feel clean as it is commanded in both Old and New Testament. You can feel the same feeling as our biblical ancestors and the same feeling as John and Jesus. Follow his footsteps and be baptized as he was with the same water in the same river, only in Israel, where the Bible comes to life.